Do you have a Lexus RX 350 that has a problematic cracked dash that turns white, falls apart, and reveals nasty yellow foam underneath? Well, if you're here watching this video, then likely you're unsuccessful to get Lexus to replace your dash. Lucky for Lexus owners like us, there's a simple fix that involves siliconing an ABS plastic cover to your old dash. The fit and finish of this cover is less than great, plus I have my doubts that the airbag hole is lined up where it actually needs to be. If you're attempting this install, stick around as a man with the IQ less than your average goldfish gives us his best shot. On this episode of Modern Greaser, this 2007 Lexus RX 350 has been cursed with the crazy dash that cracks and gets disgusting and gross and sticky and nasty. And we are fixing it today by putting an actual cover over the top. So we're not removing the dash. An actual cover came in for under 200 bucks that we're gonna throw over the top. Whoa, pump the brakes. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now because if we're gonna bring you content like this, I need you guys doing your part, subscribing to the channel. So make sure you follow the channel, subscribe, back to your regularly scheduled program. So right now we have the dash cover test fitted in and mocked up into the car. So this is what it looks like when it's all mocked up in the car and you can kind of see it's still not all the way up on the front here. We're off on some of the different parts but we are gonna definitely go get some silicone on this and try to get this inside the car as best as possible and get it all lined up. Wait till we get this thing off and you're gonna see how gross and disgusting it actually looks. So this is what the dash looks like without the cover on it. It's got a white funky feature on it. It's cracked everywhere. If you were lucky, Lexus would have gone through and done a recall on this but there's been a lot of controversy obviously over that, which is why they make these covers. And you can see she just, that's just disgusting. This dash is roached. It just looks like poor people live in here. Anyways, we are gonna go through, add some silicone on it and get it in place. I really hate chipping out the original dash. Better late than never. The biggest thing is gonna be making sure we don't get any silicone on this nice suede looking junk. This is the glue that came with the kit. Whatever that translates to, sure, it's good stuff. 703, so they say that the trick is to apply the glue and thin coats around the edges, but not too much, not in the middle, so that it doesn't seep out and get all over the place. And then once it's in there to get tape and different types of things to smash it down. So I have no idea if I am doing this correctly. I'm gonna wait to add this on here because I know I can access this in the car. I'm a little nervous this is gonna slide up over the vent and I hope this doesn't get on the vent as I slide that up over it. But it says to go around the outside perimeter and I looked on YouTube and there really wasn't anything out there so I'm using my best judgment on how to attach this. I can also get this edge from the inside. I don't want it to, if I put it around this airbag cover and slide it on, then I'm not gonna see that. But they're saying basically the edges and not too close to the edge that when you squeeze it on, it's gonna puff out or anything. So I don't know. It sits in there pretty well without the silicone. So, and this stuff's making my eyes water like I was cutting onions. So you know it's gotta be pretty good stuff. So let's go give this a test fit and see what happens. I have absolutely zero faith in the glue, silicone crap holding up, doing anything at all. It's just all flopsy dopsy. It's just a big piece of crap, whatever. It's better than it was. This dash panel actually, if you just give it a pull, actually pulls out with some clips and then you can just sink that right down in there without having to trim it, glue it up, push that into place and kind of hold it while it dries. I've got cardboard wedged everywhere per the instructions. It's not really great. I didn't spend a lot of time on this. Don't tell my wife, but it's her car and I really don't care that much. All I'm gonna do now is this side one kind of pops up. So I'm gonna jam some cardboard between here actually have a plastic bottle shoved over there it's pressing up against it so i say about eight hours for the glue to dry and it's been overnight i'm not super pumped about the fitment of this so you can see right here this is almost like a half inch away of where the dash is supposed to come to and i thought well maybe i didn't push it far enough up but it's all pushed up against the steering wheel where it's supposed to be it's you know it's up here if it comes any further it'd be up over the speaker grill but yet it still doesn't come up all the way to the front which i get it you know, and then in spots over here, it's a little bit hard to see, but it spots over here, it's like right up against the dash. So it's really not a great fit by any means. You can also see right here, this should be sitting down on top of this vent and it's like above it. It's really a pretty poor fitment of it. So on the inside in here, this looks like dog doo-doo. See how that's sitting up so high? So hopefully the Florida sun kind of molds this down in here. It's looking like crap.
this fits nicely around here. I take that back. I mean, overall it's better than what it was. It's like 100% better, but it still looks jacked. Yeah, my major concern with all of this fitting is this airbag. Now this actual airbag, I bought the one that came with the plastic cover that you can glue on top. Knowing how fast an airbag deploys, there's no way in heck I'm gonna be mounting a big hunk of plastic on here. And some of the made in USA covers don't come with that. In hindsight, I would go back and buy the USA one that didn't have the cover. I mean, there is cracks in the dash. And I think if it gets bad, I can get a piece of like black kind of textured fabric that I can just put over the top of that. So if that flies off, you're not gonna get hurt by a little piece of fabric. My biggest concern is since this doesn't fit, is that really the opening for the airbag? Is the airbag right here or is the airbag? Cause what if this whole dang dash comes flying off with the airbag? That makes this whole process not even worth it, not knowing. You know, I'm really hoping they made this extra big and that the airbag is small. But if this is off calculated, kind of like the rest of everything being off, then that's truly worrisome to me, um, not knowing. You can see like on this, this this is really bad. So I'm hoping that the heat, this is kind of like an ABS, that the heat here in the Florida sun will kind of like let this kind of sit in place a little bit better, but I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of faith in it, to be completely honest with you. So the silicone actually dries white instead of clear, so that's also quite a bit annoying. You know, if the window's down on the highway, I don't know how much this will be flapping around or moving around, but you know, overall, like I said, we'll see how it goes from here. So the fit and finish is not great, but it is far better than what it was in here before. I got some little grease finger marks on the inside, but honestly, what it was to compare to what it is now, it looks like a brand new car. And I know the wife is happy and that's all that matters. So uh, anyways, that's the dash. Not perfect, but it could be a whole lot worse to be honest. The overall overview of putting this dash in is really easy. Don't fuss with it too much. I used a little bit of a razor knife, cut a couple little spots here and there. I really didn't spend too much time on it because I don't really care. Uh, put some glue on it, threw it in there, bada bing, bada boom. And actually my wife has been driving around on this for like two months with no glue. I just like set it in there and it looked better. And I just got around to gluing it the other day. So when I made this video, but uh, it's definitely worth the under 200 bucks that you pay for it. The only thing that concerns me is that spot where the airbag is at. But other than that, hey, it's a major upgrade. You know, if you're buying one of these, I would really try to get the Lexus dealer to replace it if it's starting to crack and look like garbage. You know, show them this video and be like, hey, see how bad it gets? <laughs> and that's really not that bad. This was a garage kept vehicle. So um, anyways, all in all, it looks pretty good. If you're in this situation, I think it's worth the money. I would forego the ones that come with the cover. Obviously it looks nicer with the cover, but that becomes a projectile flying at your face super fast. So I would not do that. I'm not installing it on this one. Um, other than that, that's it. Happy birthday. Wait, it's not actually your birthday, but it is the end of the video. So congratulations on actually finishing it. I know it was a little mundane because I gave up coffee right before I filmed this and uh, I might be a little bit sleepy during it, but hopefully it had some information that helped you out if you're doing the dash kit. I didn't see any videos on YouTube. So I thought somebody at least has to attempt this dash install. It was super easy to do. Um, there's a link to the product in the description. I don't actually should suggest getting the one that I got, um, but uh, yeah, give it a whirl. It's a whole lot better than what was in there. And uh, other than that, I have more videos coming your way, transportation related stuff, another one on the ambulance, and hopefully another build series on that to come. And uh, yeah, just your average car guy stuff. So, and girl, and guy girl, whatever. Uh, we'll catch you guys later in the next episode.